This is a very touchy topic that I have seen that a lot of YouTubers and media people from my, from my country, a lot of them are staying away from it. So it's hot potatoes. And before making this one, I had to come out and think of, you know, several ways to go about it. Because the way it seems now, <laughs> in Nigeria, you have freedom of speech. But the freedom after speech is not necessarily guaranteed. So in this video, I want to talk about Erisco, tomatoes, and reviews. So let's get started on this one. So initially it started small, but soon the fires began to spread. In an abridged version of events, I would simply say that um, a lady dropped a review on a certain tomato puree as our, our mama, <laughs> Baliki Sharma called it tomato puree, right? She dropped a review on Facebook and she said some inflammatory stuff. I'm not, I'm not going to hide behind that. She said some stuff she said was inflammatory, but again, it's in Nigerian parlance, we actually consider those normal talk. And so a lot of people do that. But some stuff she said were valid, other stuff were inflammatory, and it got people worked up. Some people were in support, others were not in support. There was a whole furor, and then soon after, the owner, of the product that she bashed on Facebook, sent the police after her. And she was arrested and then released and then rearrested and you know, it's also messy. But the point is she's been sued for, well, a serious amount of money, right? And all that. So I think it's, it's time we, we actually examine this and look at it. I'm not going to talk about that case right? I'm not necessarily interested in it, but I think it's actually quite fair to talk about, like, you know, generally, especially those of us who come out, uh, who put ourselves out there in front of the public to give opinion on certain stuff and, you know, and all that, like, considering the climate where we live in, like, you know, what are the rules of engagement, the modus operandi? And who's to say that whoever it is that you're reviewing the article will not get mad and then send the police after you? Because that's, this is essentially a case of what it is. Because obviously, I mean, it's a defamation case. It's not necessarily a criminal, like, you know, like the, the, way, the way the police went after this woman, you would think that she, you know, she was part of a conspiracy to topple the government or something like that. When it was just a case of, you know, blab them out. But obviously she was going to was how her words the words she said could potentially cripple someone's livelihood and of course hit them where it hurts in the pockets. And so therefore they went I, I think it was an overkill, but then again let's let's stay on video here. What like what now 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 to, to put this into context, let's talk about MKBHD who recently reviewed an EV, right, an, an electrical, um, electronic whatever vehicle, right, you know, one of the new clean energy vehicles. He bought it with his money, he did a review on it, and he made a very scatting review. And then, I mean, he literally said something about like, this car could possibly kill people because the car was unfinished, it needed a software update for some stuff to work, and yet they were selling it to people, and the company in charge of that product lost a massive amount of money their shares tumbled and you know stuff happened to that company if it were in a country that i know <laughs> i don't think mkbhd would be walking free on the streets <laughs> you understand that but that is the climate that we live in so it's actually it's there is Talking about this thing is actually, I, I, I think I'm probably starting to see why a lot of reviewers are staying away from this. But somebody has to say it. Somebody needs to say it. And somebody needs to say it very, you know, very objectively, right? I am not in total support of what that woman did. As it is with, in this part of the world, we tend to 
the average Nigerian tends to exaggerate. It's a part of our speech. It's a part of our speech. You go keep messing now. You go. Mm. It's a part of our speech. We just we talk and we you know in order to make the conversation sweeter, we tend to add salt and maggi and seasoning and we just add a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of ex uh, uh, exaggerations to make the story look a bit more sweet, a bit more bogus, a bit more, you know, pleasant to the ears and all that. So let's talk about reviews now, first and foremost. Reviews. I believe reviews should be fair. Fair and objective. So when you point out stuff that are not working, you'd say it you know, with all confidence that this is supposed to be X. It is not X, it is Y. So therefore, since it's not X, I'm going to critique it along this way and you can, everybody can see that it's clear and it's fair and it's objective. What I would not advise people to do is to go off a tangent and then try to make it a bit more sweeter, a bit more, you know, more what's the word to use now you know entertaining for their audience so that the audience will have a story to run with and say x reviewer said don't buy this don't buy that no you should be fair you know it's, it's what i always tell people i i give you the information do with it as you will i'm not I don't, don't go and tell people don't buy x or don't buy y or this one kills or that no 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 that's actually but again it's again it's nigerian speech a lot of people say it, not everybody, but I, I can, dare I say, 70%, 80% of the population tends to use it every once in a while to talk. That is the first one. Two, courage and, you know, like delivery. When you do a review of such stuff, it's not, you, pe people spent, I'm not saying defend the bad product, or oh, absolutely not, but people spent money and did some market research and whatever at least they spent capital to put to bring these goods to the market so if you're going to be doing a review rather than come out as being bitter or as just trying to bash somebody's product you come out like you really carry yourself and people are going to be like ah it's you know he was very fair it was very objective even if they take offense when they come at you your the, the choice of words that you used the clarity of your review in fact, you could even counter sue if they come to sue you. You could even counter sue for harassment and bullying and whatever stuff. And you could make bank if, you, if you've got a great lawyer. Right? So, finally, on to the Nigerian climate as we know it. Where, you know, the, we're supposed to have courts and the rule of law. But... I'm picking my words very carefully. It doesn't always, like again, like I said at the beginning of the video, there's freedom before speech, freedom after speech is not guaranteed. So you have to watch what you say. If you live in such a climate and you have such a huge following as this woman did, you should know that it's the internet. If any authority wants to find me, uh, less than 24 hours they probably will it's why we, we we always ask that if authorities can find people who that they want to find on the net why is it that they cannot find people you know people of interest that actually matter that they should be finding but you know just regular people who maybe just say a thing or two on the net and boom they've got them it's questions like this that people should be asking. And I think some people have asked it, but we don't have any valid answers to it. If you know that you live in this type of climate, you should make sure that when you come out to do a review, that your review is factual, that you can point to it and say, this is supposed to be X, it's not X, it's Y. It's factual, it's objective, anybody can see it. So that if anything happens, you know that it's a clear case of persecution. And that would give you a leg to stand on. But we know that it's, I mean, it's, you were just saying it so that you'd have a leg to stand on. But generally, we know how things work in the real world. But I'm just saying it. And then, again, carry yourself well. Don't go, because when you're, in the, when you're in the happy mood of the market woman talk and you want to just go all out, and you never know when you step out of bounds. And then, you know, somebody could slam a defamation case on you. I'm just saying. 
I'm just saying. So yeah, that's, I just spent the last few minutes going around in concentric circles. I'll see you in the next video.